Hey everyone, it's Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering, um, also with Kissoft Tech Support and Gleason Corporation. Um, you're watching this video, uh, you're on my, my Kissoft USA webpage, homepage on YouTube there. Like and subscribe if you like. Um, today we're going to talk about how we can use um, a feature called Import Export in Kissoft. It's really kind of nice to use. Um, Kissoft in general has this uh, this uh, product. We call it our three our three gear product. So here's the 2021 Kissoft interface. Um, you see them in a cylindrical gear pair. Uh, if I wanted to, I can go down to examples here and I could pick up a, a three three and four gear train, right? So a three gear train. If I click on this. As an example, 12, 15, 17, right? And I have an input gear, an idler gear, and an output gear. And this idler gear then is, is used and meshed with both of these gears, right? Now, sometimes we have clients that don't have the three or the four gear train modules, which is fine, but they do have the cylindrical gear pair module, and they want to create this design, which is a whatever it might be. Let's just grab this first gear pair 2576 let's let's say we we're going to do a 2576 the 76 gear here this gear two is going to be our intermediate gear and maybe the output gear is a 100 tooth gear so we have a four to one ratio and for whatever reason we needed this 76 gear tooth right um it's just kind of a big tooth but we needed it so what we would do here is instead of going through and doing two complete uh, gear mesh designs, what we would do is we would we'd work this first mesh to however we need to make it. And then instead of um, starting the second mesh right here, right, the cylindrical gear, and say we want this to be a 76 and this wants to be 100. Now I got to go back here and kind of peek in here. Okay, well, it's 44 millimeters wide. It's a negative 2.285. Uh, I'm going to have to probably turn this on. I'm going to go to this little wrench right here. And I'm going to turn this uh, manufacturing profile shift because I'm going to bring this in. Right? This is negative 0.2485. And I'm going to have to go through a bunch of work. I'm going to make this reference profile, whatever it needs to be. Any manufacturing stuff, i got to make a change. All my tolerances now, i got to make changes. So there's a whole bunch of work that i got to you know, make sure i got the right normal module. Um, those things that are set up, right? There's an easier way to do it. So I can take this 76 tooth gear right here. If I go to File, Export, Gear 2, and I'm going to put this in my uh, KISSOP folder right here for my examples. You can see I've already got one here. I'm just going to highlight this 76 tooth example. I'm going to save that. Yep, I'm going to replace it. And now in my second gear pair i have the 76 some in, you know basic information i'm simply going to go file import gear one okay i go to my documents kiss soft here's my 76 tooth gear right here okay i open this it's going to say the normal module is different do you want to still import it yeah because when i do this yeah, now it modifies and changes all this information right here. My reference profile is selected as correct. My tolerances are correct. Of course, now in this case, we didn't have a lot of differences in my tolerances, right? Um, <clears throat> but so all these things are correct. Um, the same is true as if you were, if you had, um, let's say you had, uh, you see my profile right here that, that brought that in. Uh, the quality is six which is also the same. So all this information from this gear mesh, this gear pair, was brought in. And if I wanted to see that gear, I can go to the single gear, and I can go to open, um, and I just go to my Kissoft example, I hit open, and it has all the information on that gear in a single file right here. Okay. Tip diameter, lower, upper, all that information, and then I and then uh, if I wanted to change something here, 
I could do that, and it would it would uh, you'd have to update those other files because it doesn't read and it's not like it's a parametrically linked um, calculation. But it's a real simple thing. So, anyways, uh, that's kind of a simple way to if you're going to do two gear or a three gear pair train or three gear train, and you don't have the this module right here you can do it with a cylindrical gear pair and then do an export import and keep your gears the same between it. This is also really helpful if you're doing uh, reverse engineering on, on gear trains and need to uh, you know, use that same gear in multiple, multiple other applications. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, check us out next week. We're going to be at the MPT show down in St. Louis. So if you're there, stop by the Gleason booth. Gleason Corporation, and I will be there showcasing Kissoft and all of its awesome capabilities. If you liked it, hit uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I kind of have this thing where I want to have more subscribers than Kissoft proper, but uh, it's Kissoft USA. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, it was helpful.